Hey guys, I never thought I'd be sharing this story, but here goes. It's pretty wild, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. So, a few months ago, I was cleaning out my attic. You know, just trying to get rid of some old junk. I was going through boxes of stuff from when I was a kid, and that's when I found it. My old childhood Bible. I hadn't seen that thing in years, and honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. At first I was just going to toss it in the donate pile. I mean, I hadn't been to church in forever, and religion wasn't really my thing anymore. But something made me pause. Maybe it was nostalgia or whatever, but I decided to flip through it. As I was leafing through the pages, a small piece of paper fell out. It was yellowed and kinda crumpled, but I could still make out the writing. It was my grandma's handwriting, and it said, For my dear granddaughter, may this Bible guide you through life's darkest moments. I gotta tell you, that hit me hard. My grandma passed away when I was in high school, and we were super close. Seeing her handwriting again after all these years, it was like she was right there with me. I sat down right there in the attic and started reading. At first, it was just random verses, but then I noticed something weird. There were these little notes in the margins, also in my grandma's handwriting. They were like personal messages to me, I guess. Stuff like, remember this when you're feeling lost, or this helped me through tough times. It was like my grandma had left me a secret message, hidden in this Bible all these years. I started reading more and more, trying to piece together what she was trying to tell me. As I read, I started remembering things from my childhood. Sunday school lessons, family prayers before dinner, all that stuff. It was like opening a door to a part of my life I'd completely forgotten about. But here's where it gets really crazy. I came across this one verse that had a star next to it. It was Jeremiah 29 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And right next to it, my grandma had written, this is for you, sweetheart. When you find this, know that God has big plans for you. I swear it was like she knew I'd find this Bible years later when I needed it most. I mean, I'd been feeling pretty lost lately, stuck in a job I hated, and not really sure what I wanted to do with my life. Reading that, it was like a light bulb went off. I suddenly remembered how much faith had meant to me as a kid, how it had given me hope and purpose. And here was my grandma, reaching out from the past, reminding me of that. I spent the whole night reading that Bible, rediscovering all these stories and teachings I'd forgotten. It was like, I don't know, like coming home after being away for a really long time. Since that night, things have been different. I've started going to church again, and I'm even thinking about volunteering at a local charity. It's like I've found a part of myself I didn't even know was missing. I know this might sound crazy to some people, but finding that Bible, it changed my life. It's like my grandma knew exactly what I'd need, even years after she was gone. And now, every time I read it, I feel like she's right there with me, guiding me just like she used to. So yeah, that's my story. I guess sometimes the things we need most are right there waiting for us. We just need to open our eyes and see them. And sometimes those things come in the form of a dusty old Bible in an attic. I spent the whole night reading that Bible, rediscovering all these stories and teachings I'd forgotten. It was like, I don't know, like coming home after being away for a really long time. Since that night, things have been different. I've started going to church again and I'm even thinking about volunteering at a local charity. It's like I've found a part of myself I didn't even know was missing. By the time I closed the Bible, the first rays of dawn were painting the sky. I was exhausted, emotionally drained, yet strangely exhilarated. I promised myself to stay connected to this newfound faith. As I placed the Bible back on the shelf, I knew that this night, this rediscovery, was more than just reading an old book. It was a lifeline, a beacon of hope in the darkness.